Hello YouTube friends. It's a bit of a different video coming your way today. I wonder if you remember back in February I went to visit my son in Canada and his wife. Uh, it was his birthday and I went as a little bit of an impulse uh, to surprise him. I'll leave a little eye card up here uh, about that trip that we made to, uh, that, that I made to Canada. <laughs> Mum was right here. Of course she is. While I was there, Rita and I, girl Rita and I, did some filming uh, with the intention that I would make this film that I want to share with you today. And today particularly, because today is the 22nd of April and it's Earth Day. And it's also the 50th anniversary of Earth Day. So all around the planet, people are, are celebrating everything to do with preserving this fantastic planet that we live on. We have to take fantastically good care of it because uh, it's the only planet we've got, really. So on the little video that I'm about to show you now, Rita had bought all the raw ingredients to make some really fantastic earth-friendly products for cleaning the apartment. And uh, we're going to share with you now uh, the making of some of those. They're terribly simple. Uh, the first little bit you see, we go to um, one of those zero waste shops where you weigh out or measure out or pour out your own um, into your own containers so that there's no uh, packaging at all. Uh, and that was really great. I think those sorts of shops are becoming more and more common um, all over the world now. Uh, I don't know where my nearest one is. But some of the things that we're going to talk about on this video might be a bit tricky to find. One of them, black soap, I'd never heard of before. Uh, but I'm sure a little Google search will um, lead you to find some of the supplies. Some of them are ordinary everyday things that you've just got lying around your kitchen already. Vinegar, bicarbonate of soda, those kinds of things. But what Rita's uh, doing in this video is bringing all of those products together to make a whole range of cleaning products that will clean any surface or anything in your house. So I made this video while I was there and I've, I've had it ready for you, but I've been saving it for Earth Day. So enjoy uh, what follows. Uh, it rem the Editing this has reminded me of what a wonderful time I had when I was there visiting them. And I'm really pleased that I managed to fit that visit in before everything uh, ground to a halt and before the lockdown, because there's no way I'll be able to fly to Canada now uh, to see uh, to see the pair of them. So, um, yeah, here it comes. Enjoy it. Have a fantastic Earth Day. Uh, see if you can do something that will save the planet in one tiny little way, even if it's just not using plastic for a bit. OK, I'll be back with you soon with some more videos. I've got another one of these uh, Montreal trips to edit uh, and I'm going to work on that one soon. Uh, we made two. Um, so take care, everybody. I'll be back with uh, different sorts of videos again soon. But I'm really, really looking forward to sharing this one with you. Just one more thing really quickly that I forgot to say. Rita wrote out cards with all the ingredients um, on them. And I've interspersed those throughout the this video uh, for a few seconds. But if you pause the video there, you'll be able to read them and copy them down if you want to. Uh, forgot to mention that bit. I'll just tack that bit on there now. Basically, this one will be the kind of uh, vinegar one, and yeah. this will be the citric acid one to get rid of like grease from yeah. the. Absolutely. So basically, this is for poop. This is for grease. Okay, and... good. Sounds good. These are great. Okay, so hello, uh, YouTube friends. I'm here in Rita and Owen's apartment in Montreal. And today, Rita, you did a workshop? Yeah, a couple of weeks ago I did a workshop at, at my place of work 
about um, zero waste biodegradable cleaning for your house because I think the Canadian government and they, or maybe the Quebec government, I don't know, has a specific target to get less chemicals into their water supply. Um, and so they're kind of partnering up with a bunch of interesting small companies and trainers and hippies of all sorts to go out and spread I, the word. I fall into that last category. Yeah, spread the word about, you can be making these cleaning supplies at home. It's really easy. It's really cheap. But that's the stuff that you've got lying around. Pretty much. Mm, kind you need of, a few extras. You need a few extras, but they're easy to find. And once you um, make them, they work out much cheaper per use than what you spend at the supermarket. And good for the environment. Better for the environment. No pollution in the water. Um, and? and much less plastic because I have these little plastic containers here, but these will last me pretty well a year. Yeah. And everything else we've got is glass. Is glass. Yeah. And we have these really, really lovely... Um, bottles and jars waiting for the things to be added to them yeah and so the plan today is that Rita's going to teach me all the stuff she learned on this course yeah we've just been to the zero waste shop you saw that at the beginning of this video where we were buying all the bits and pieces for that yeah and now we're just going to make what we are going to make laundry detergent we're going to make a cleaning scrub which is when you have kind of you know, like difficult to remove stains so in the got bathroom. Something more abrasiveness to yeah, it. Yeah, or like if you need to do a like super special polish in the toilet, that okay, sort of thing. That or like um, yeah, your kitchen hop. sink, your ceramic hop, that thing. So it's like a scrub. Then we're gonna make a glass and mirror cleaner. Very good. A kitchen cleaner, which will be good to dissolve like fatty, greasy sort of stains, so and then a tarp or yeah, yeah. or like or and a washing up bowl. Yeah, mine always gets really greasy. It's horrible. Yeah, exactly that. Mm -hmm. And then a bathroom cleaner, which will be better for like sort of, you know, bathroom sort of. You're very mess, ambitious you know? for how much stuff we're gonna make. They are so easy to okay. make. Okay. Mostly all of this stuff will include. Basically five ingredients, which are we're easy gonna to run find. Them. Yeah, pretty easy to find. If not, there are loads of places online that you can find them. And a lot of the people who sell these things are either co-ops or um, like zero waste Where shops we've online. Just been. Yeah, and you could buy them on Amazon, but I think that kind of defeats the point. Yeah, but Time you could if these. that's the option that you have. You know, once a year an Amazon shop, you know, yeah. you can live with that, I guess. But we're not advocating that. Yeah. But so I went in Montreal. There's this brilliant shop called the Co-op Coco. So okay. it's a cooperative. They buy these chemicals and these things in bulk and then they parcel them up. And I can bring back these bags and refill them if I need to. And when you say chemicals, we're not talking about anything really. No, hideous. no, they're natural chemicals. So let's run through the ingredients. Yeah. The first ingredient that we're going to use a lot of is Marseille soap which you can get everywhere. It's similar to Castile soap. Because or... that, that's what I know it has, Castile yeah. soap. They're not exactly the same, but they're pretty well similar. Where I grew up in Brazil, we use a coconut bar yeah. soap. Yeah. It's not that, not that easy to find. Yeah. So I'm not going to use that, but you could use that, I guess, as long as it's the kind of organic, uh, sort of natural soap. So this is the Marseille soap. I got the one without olive oil. So Marseille soap is the number one. The second one, this is cleaning vinegar, which we got at the zero, zero waste shop. So it looks vinegar, like water. But yeah. White cheap vinegar. So not, not your balsamic. Yeah. So this is 12% vinegar and it's just called white vinegar. You wouldn't want to Eat you wouldn't want this. to use it for anything yeah. other than the purposes we're using if it for. If you did eat it, it would be fine. But, but I don't think it tastes nice, and it would definitely not. Basically, it's just the acidic, yeah. con the, acid yeah. the acidic part of what we're part of this. Exactly. Yeah. And then for the slightly more, uh, you know, other stuff, uh, bicarbonate of soda, which is baking soda. That's in great. In the U.S., and use that for all sorts. In fact, cleaning your fridge. Yeah. Is what that's recommended for. And also baking a cake. Okay. <laughs> So, um, and then the other thing, um, washing soda, which in French, because Montreal speaks French, is a uh, soda crystal. So yeah. that might be a name that you oh, find okay. it under, washing soda. So it's all here. Um, it's a sodium carbonate, basically. Yeah. These are, they are chemicals, so don't get them in your eyes or and anything like that. don't leave them like around that. where your dog is or your cats yeah. or your kids. 
but they are not the sort of chemicals that will leave a residue in the water and things like that. So they're kind of natural compounds. And then the last one that we're going to use out of these ones is citric acid. And you can use that to make sweets as well. So you can eat that. It's you called can. acid. Um, yeah. It's a natural acid that comes from citrus fruit rinds. So people put that in... Um... Yeah. If you, some people use it to make jams. If you yeah. make sweets at home, you'll use that. Like, you can eat that one. Oh, good. So then we have three more things. Um, this here I got at the Co-op Coco. It's a black soap, it's called. Basically, it's a Marseille soap in liquid form with olive oil. Um, so it's another natural soap. It's more, it's better. And it's a little bit harsher, basically. So we're going to use less small, of it. Small amounts. Is it and, expensive? Um, no, not very expensive, but I didn't want to get more than no. needed. Gosh, so no. I filled that little bottle. Because this is a little apartment. It doesn't take yeah. much to clean. And so that is really good to get rid of grease stains. So okay, we're going to make a laundry detergent that is a, just a normal one. But if you had a grease stain, you could add a bit of the wax soap to it. And then it would be really good at taking that grease out. And then we have uh, sea rock salt, the cheap kind. It, this one is local, so it has that kind of like seaweedy sort of color. Um, and then I got some tea tree uh, essential oils. You can add whatever essential oil you want for fragrance. And obviously some of the products that we're making, you should add fragrance and some of them you shouldn't because it won't make a difference. But and this is also antibacterial. I pick tea tree because it's antibacterial. Excellent. But you could pick pretty much whichever one you want Good. for whatever smell you want. You could put lavender in them. Yeah. So whatever. Yeah. So it's actually quite flexible. And a lot of these are quite similar. Yeah. And they just vary a little bit In according quantity to of quantity of thing for whatever your purpose is. Exactly. So let's start with the laundry detergent one because that's the one that will take longest to make. Okay. This one, where I'm going to make a one liter bottle of. So show us your bottles. So my bottle is going to go here. Uh, so that's a laundry detergent bottle. This was a juice, like a... I think it's a lemonade bottle. A juice bottle. Yeah, and then uh, I'm going to use the measuring cup from an old conventional supermarket laundry to measure and use as normal. So it's going to be a liquid. So we don't need this yet. So um, I don't know how the best way to do this is, but maybe we can put the recipe on the screen at some point. Okay. So, Great. so to make one liter of this laundry detergent, we need 30 grams of the... Marseille soap, which will be grated, then 15 grams of bicarbonate of soda, which is here, baking soda, uh, 20 grams of soda crystals, which is this, the we call them washing soda, yeah, and hot tap water. So I said, should we put, I asked the lady in the workshop, should we put some essential oils for smell? And she said, no, because the water is hot and the smell just won't stick to your clothes. So there's no point. Yeah. You can add smell if you're making a homemade uh, fabric softener, or you can make a little uh, spray with lavender <laughs> if you want your clothes to smell nice. If not, this they'll just be clean. Basically. Or you could do that lavender spray but on the ironing water if you exactly, wanted to do that's that. Exactly, that's what I meant. Yeah, that's so what, yeah. Like for once they're clean, if you, you want can spray this them. stuff to I don't bother with smells yeah, so much. Yeah, I don't really. As long as they're clean and don't smell exactly. like then food it smells, or whatever. Then it smells yeah. of clean. Yeah. So I'm going to start chopping these things up and measuring them out. And then I will show you how we're going to dissolve all of this stuff in one liter of hot tap water. So it doesn't have to be boiling, just from the tap. What are you going to store that one in? Which I'm is going the... to start, yeah. store it in this one. And, that, and, that's, juice, and that's a juice. liter already? Uh, yeah, I think this is a liter, but I'm going to measure it out anyway. Okay. And then you measure one or two scoops as normal. It will just be a normal liquid thing for your clothes. L liquid laundry detergent. Liquid laundry detergent. Let's go. All right. Okay, so let me grab a... I'm just going to keep filming. Yes. Yeah. Shall we point this down then? Yeah, yeah, you do that. From here. That's it. For, for that. Yeah. I think we need to prop it on something. To get it a bit higher, you can manipulate the legs to get it higher as well. It's a bloody nuisance, that thing. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, it's not. It's never straight yeah. though. Yeah. Yeah. That's what my dad said when I was going to buy one. I liked the well. 
uh, it came with this, that's why I bought it, because I needed this oh, scripper right. thing. I pre much prefer the one that you bought me, but it, it's, there's no fixing for it. Oh, that's for a camera. It is. Not for a camera. Exactly. Okay, so where's the recipe come for this one? Uh, Here it is. Yeah, so we need the first one there, 30, grams. 30 grams of Marseille soap. Wow, it's not much, is it? Well, that's 2.7. Okay, that's quite a bit then. Yeah. I just, I thought it would This would work. This yeah. is going to work fine. You know what? We should get a paper towel. Or a bowl. Yeah. Let's do it in a bowl. That's all I have to think about this. Enjoy editing. Okay, so you've got 25 grams, just bit another bit five grams of Marseille soap. And but obviously, like, it doesn't have, it's not like baking that it needs to be no. on the nose, otherwise no. it won't rise right up. Like exactly. So this is fine that it's 34 grams. That's okay. So here we have this. So let's tear this again. Um, we need... We need 15 grams of bicarbonate of soda. Okay. And that's just your normal baking soda from the supermarket. You know, the little orange Garmin hammer box? Yes. You could put, you know, you've, in small quantities you've probably got this, haven't you? Yeah, and I got all of these measuring things just from the dollar shop, so... I think this will be 15 grams. Pretty well. That's fine. 15 grams. And then uh, 20 grams of soda crystals, washing soda. So we'll make it like a one appetite and we'll make this uh, yeah. nicely boom, boom, boom. So 20 grams. Eight. It's quite lightweight. Ten. Twenty Ten. grams. Perfect. So that's washing soda, bicarbonate of soda, and soap. And none of this is toxic, so you can Yep. And then so I'm actually I have a funnel somewhere. Uh, I saw it. Oh there it is. There's my funnel. Uh shall I'll we lift this a bit? Give it to me. Yeah. Um, what I'll do is I'll stop and start again. Mm -hmm. The most complicated part of this is actually finding the ingredients. Yeah. Uh, so you might have to do a little bit of research. Every town will have a place that sells these. Yeah, yeah. Or, a, you know, like a delivery service that will do it. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. That was expertly done, Rita, if I okay. may say. Thank you. So I'm going to just go fill this measuring cup one liter of hot water. Okay. water from my tap i know it looks white but it's actually it's just, just little oxygen. mini bubbles it's yeah. oxygen so uh it's so quite we... hot it has to be hot because we want this soap to melt and for this to become a homogenous mixture go on let's see so we're gonna put all of this in here fill it up to the top yeah well i think this bottle might actually be a liter no it's a liter cool just wait for these bubbles because we don't want it overflowing and that's it that's our... It's almost it. Okay, uh, not quite I'm going to shake it so that it's all incorporated. And uh, the little bits of soap, if you see here, they've not dissolved. So I'm going to shake it. Yeah. But gently, I don't want any of this to explode so that the Marseille soap vanishes. And it's all like a thick kind of cream. Because otherwise, you'll have different amounts of soap per exactly. wash. Exactly. So the, last, the first few washes might be water. Uh, if, you, exactly. if, you don't, if you don't mix it up really well. Exactly. It does take a little while for it to melt. Like the finer you grate it. I didn't have a grater, so I just used a knife. Oh, okay. My... okay, there we go. This is pretty much, there's still a little, few little bits, but it will melt because it's it still will. quite hot in here. Okay, good. Um, so we'll leave that there for a minute. And that's our laundry detergent. And that's detergent. the laundry detergent done. Done. Wow. See how easy that is. Yeah. One over there. So our next one. What are we doing now? see here. 
We are making, oh, the cleaning scrub. Okay. Right. This is really good for like stains and like, you know, bathroom cleaning. It's really good to wash your tub, that sort of thing. Uh, so what we're going to need for this one is our black soap. Uh, so I put this one in parts uh, because you only need to make as much as you need. So three parts uh, bicarbonate of soda to one part black soap and uh, two parts of washing soap. Yeah, so, so half... Uh, Quarter cup is the part, so so you need one part um, black soap. This is what this black soap looks like. It's like a, a kind of slightly more oily. Okay. Um, than the thick. Marseille soap. Yeah, it's quite thick. Thick. Um, you can get it in bars as well. Um, this is how they sell them here in Canada. I think it's easier for making a paste. That's what. Does it we smell? Want. A little. It smells kind of like a natural soap. soap. Yeah. <laughs> what you'd expect a natural soap to smell like. So, um, there we go. Scoop that up there. And I, I have used this before, and I know that I'm actually making a substantial amount, like at least a month's worth of cleaning with this uh -huh. quarter cup of black soap. So there we are. We don't need this. Quarter cup of black soap. Um, and so I'm going to use three quarters of a cup of uh, bicarbonate of soda, which is our baking soda for our American friends. <laughs> and this is what I find quite a lot is if I'm at home and I'm cooking or whatever, there is definitely a lost in translation thing going on sometimes with yeah. cooking, you know, um, <laughs> self-raising flour. That's okay. Okay, that's... I'm gonna say that that's enough. But I think I think that's acceptable. <laughs> this... My counter will be sparkling. Clean. Very clean counter. Uh, yeah. And then um. What? What makes? And this is okay. the washing soap. Huh? How do you mix this? Is it got a? Um... Well, it's gonna be a paste. So I'm gonna add little bits of oh, water right. to like okay. uh, mix it all together. How much do you need of this? One part. So One... it's three so parts have... bicarbonate, two parts soda ash one part black soap okay so i need a, two of these so i think for me the black soap's the only thing i'm not gonna i'm gonna struggle to find but i'm gonna look for it i think that because people use this a lot and if you can't find it there's lots of different recipes for this stuff around because a lot of people are now interested in this way of yeah yeah, yeah. And i'm cleaning. sure we'll start a trend Guys, I've made a fatal error here. Small jar. I should have made it in my bowl, which I'll do now. Um, Why? Because I'm not going to be able to mix, mix it. It. Um, it will fit once it's what? ready. That but was I'm... my idea. Sorry. Yeah, sorry, yeah. I didn't listen. There we go. It's fine. No, no. It was my idea to do it in the jar. Oh, yeah. Well, I thought it would work, but yeah. I won't be able to mix it. But you it need one there. more part of the last no, chemical I've, you got I've them done, all in. Yeah, I've got all but, my parts in here. But mixing is yeah. now the thing yeah so but i'm gonna have to add little bits okay let's be a little tidier how about what we're doing that kind of thing. i think it's gonna need a little bit of water because you or, want it to be a paste or heat do you think that no because i think the powders need to be incorporated into something and because we don't use that much of the black soap okay um, so we just need to loosen it off, don't we? Basically, like a little bit of water, mix it up. Um, and you'd just yes, put this on with a cleaning cloth, wouldn't you? Yeah, exactly. I got this uh, natural loofah. Oh, excellent. Um, oh, right. Ooh. This loofah is great. It's exactly the same kind. You can grow this in your garden, Kate, and I think you should do it. Oh, really? Are yeah. you throwing down the gauntlet there? Do you think I could put one in the polytunnel? Yeah, I think you could. I could. And apparently they're really easy to grow. Um, in and... Northumberland? Yeah. Okay. And uh, this is compostable once it's done. Yeah, yeah. But before it's done, you can throw this in the washing machine if you okay. want, or the dishwasher if you have okay. one. To clean it. All right. Uh, Let's have a look at it closer. Oh, look at that! That created like a little. Um... 
See, this is quite really abrasive. Well, it is, isn't it? You can see and how... And that's what we want. Well, yeah. you'd probably just get a teaspoonful of that and chuck it on whatever you were cleaning and, and then, then rub, rub it, it in with your, yeah. with your cloth. Oh, dear. So is it seized? Uh, yeah, I think it was my chatting. But now it's coming through. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. I guess if you were making this... Let's say you were making this for presents and making loads of them. Mm. You, you could do them in a, a, a food processor, couldn't you? You could, as long as you as long then as it was a dedicated it. food processor, exactly. or you cleaned it yeah. really well. Yeah. So I think that's it. Um, so we just need to. That's it. In fact, I can hear it. Yeah. Um, the the black soap has a kind of like kind of astringent cleany kind of smell it's not like a sort of very nice smelling thing it doesn't smell bad but it Is that, definitely smells would like you a, possibly put a bit of tea tree in that one then just to counteract I that i don't think so i don't think I not in there difference. what i would do is probably use this and then i'd give it a wipe with our bathroom cleaner which we're going to make gonna in be... a minute and has tea tree in it yeah. and so this is just to get rid of like the dirt yes to, this is a heavy duty exactly and that's for one you know everyone needs that sometimes because i think i was thinking these would make really great gifts wouldn't they yeah you make if you make a small jar of each of these for someone yeah i think it's a good gift and if you make pretty jars and exactly then, yeah. and all your lovely labeling which i love hmm. i like doing that stuff well you're good at it look okay so now it see it does fit in my things in my jars all um, right there we go Oh, that actually went right down, didn't it? Yeah. And that's our second cleaning product. So made. that's the cleaning scrub, and it is very scrubby. It feels a bit like the stuff you might scrub your face with, but don't. Don't scrub, scrub your, your face, face with it. it. <laughs> that was a. Yeah. I mean, I don't know what would happen. Probably not. Yeah, you might get. We'll just like say that. now, don't. Yeah. We'll use these for uh, inanimate things. Yeah, bathrooms and kitchens, and, not uh, faces and, or hands. Exactly. <laughs> The third one, glass and mirror cleaner. Okay. Um, we got these really lovely jars, uh, little spray bottles at the local zero waste shop. Yeah. They are available online, or you can just take the ones that you already have. They might be plastic, but Once doesn't matter. Empty. Once they're empty, just refill them. I didn't have any because we recently moved, so I was out of cleaning supplies anyway, which is pretty and much why we're doing this. So all you really want is the spray yeah. attachment. And if you've spray got a bottle, bottle that's like that exactly. already. And um, a Scandinavian furniture shop that will remain nameless. They have a bunch of sprays that in their gardening section. <laughs> For their plants. For their yeah. plants. Yeah, so you can get those. They're quite pretty. They're not glass, I think. They're, no, they're um, plastic. I've they're got plastic. a couple. But there you go. Um, but they don't have to be glass. These are. <laughs> Everybody knows where we mean. Yeah. So what okay. we're making, we're making window, we're making mirror, glass. And mirror glass. Mirror. This right. is the easiest one. So here we have our vinegar. We got from Zero Waste. Vinegar. Yeah. So this is a 500 ml bottle. So okay. obviously I'm going to adapt to that uh, amount. I'm going to make... Um, so what you want is half and half hot water... At, well, just water and uh, vinegar. Okay. So 250 ml of this vinegar. Nothing else? Tea tree oil. So we're going to get to that. Okay, so just those three things. Yeah. There we go. That's 250. Okay. And water. Yeah. Oh, it smells good. Yeah, it's not a very, it's 12% 12, 12 vinegar, so it's actually not very, and this one happens to be organic, so. Oh, good. You know. Um, I know that this is a 500 ml bottle, so I'm just going to top, top it up. Yeah. Good. So it's equal parts vinegar and water, and then I have tea tree. Like we said, you can add whatever, lavender, yeah. whatever you want. I picked this one because it's also antibacterial. Lots of other essential oils are as well. It you smells have to great. Research. I like the smell. I do. Um, so it smells of clean, doesn't it? Yeah, exactly. So I'm gonna put uh, maybe six drops. Let's see, because this you vinegar can't is. Can't the weird. vinegar smell, aren't you? Th 
this vinegar smell, uh, this vinegar does not smell very strong. Uh, this 12 percent so, vinegar so you know you're six fine. drops of tea tree yes yeah, six drops of tea tree other essential oils you might need more or less you can just smell it and see what you think yeah and so um, is that our there glass our cleaner glass clean let's line it up yeah and so another tip for the glass cleaner is spray it on then wipe it off with old newspaper that gets all of this the watermarks and the streaks and that's the best way of doing that yeah um great so let's move on to our next one which is we're ripping through these rita it's so easy yeah. why mm. it's it's quicker for me to do this than to go, and to, to, go to the supermarket and buy a load of plastic yeah and it's all those false smells that i don't yeah. like about cleaning fluids but just to kind of throw a wrench in this process here if you don't feel like doing all this there are really so many nice brands yeah. now yeah. in canada we have one called the unscented company yeah. which is unscented and natural really nice i like mrs meyer's soaps don't know them they are marseille soap and they come in uh laundry detergent dishwasher you can get a bar of it they're everywhere they're I kind think of a trendy it's becoming brand. more and yeah. more widespread now yeah and we should all try, you know, if we can, because... Mm. Oh, yeah, but it's becoming it's easier water. to try, isn't yeah, it? Exactly. So we're now going to make a kitchen multi-surface cleaner, and I'm going to use the citric acid for that because it's really good at dissolving grease. Okay. Okay. So here is our citric acid. Um, basically, it's for each cup of water you need two tablespoons of citric acid and that's great there's no measurements even yeah but so how many cups do you think would be in here two oh two okay so i don't know how big's a cup how big's a cup on your cup measures it's about 250 yeah yeah that's about right two cups, two cups and so four tablespoons yeah four tablespoons Ooh. i think that's a tablespoon that one here. Yeah, that's what it is. So four tablespoons of citric acid. I'm gonna do it in here. Um, two, three, four. Okay. I'm gonna put uh, again six drops of tea tree. Okay. So I only bought one essential oil. They're not that cheap. No. This was about nine dollars. Canadian plus tax <laughs> and I kind of like that it all smells the same if you like different smells yeah go nuts um, or scent free yeah or scent free Whatever if you, you want. want yeah so here we are two cups of water uh, the citric acid I'm going to and the tea tree so I'm going to do you know what we're gonna have to do after this don't you what? clean the clean apartment the well i think that's a good idea because we've been it's been really cold so we've been inside this whole house this we'll whole clean time. the apartment yeah oh, okay see like it's all just it's all dissolved now it's all dispersed oh yeah that's isn't it? Uh, it's in suspension there, now but yeah so uh where's my funnel here there it is and here we go Fantastic. Perfect. Yeah. There we go. This, both um, the, we've made the kitchen cleaner. We are also going to make a bathroom cleaner. Oh, that smells lovely. They're basically multi-purpose. Yeah. They're interchangeable. Yeah. I'm giving you two options because if you have different types of dirt. Well, the greasy. Try, yeah, the greasy dirt. Is dealt kitchen. With. Yeah. Let's put that with the You others. can even mix them. Um, so we've we got go. kitchen glass laundry and the small uh, the one at scrub, the back and cleaning, cleaning scrub. scrub and now we're going to do the bathroom, bathroom. multi-purpose cleaner the and then i'm going to give you a recipe for dishwasher powder okay because you don't, I have, don't a have a dishwasher i do and i yeah. use mine so we're not going to make it because there's no point of you no, no. buying an no. unlabeled jar to the uk no no imagine you'd be stopped okay, in through customs yeah, yeah. what um, is this uh kate yeah. it's a dishwasher yeah. scrub it's yeah <laughs> Um, so there we go. So you guys can make it at home. I'll give you the recipe, but we're not going to make it today. Okay. So, uh, multi-purpose cleaner for the bathroom. I'm going to make this, uh, here again. 
again. It is bicarb this time. Um, yeah. Where is it? It's not one. And I need 15 grams, which is pretty well one tablespoon. I know that for a fact. Yeah, and I think this, we yeah. said earlier, didn't we? Some of this stuff's pretty approximate. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but let's make Because what's going to happen if you get a, a tiny bit more or less? Nothing. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So this is to make a half a liter again. So I'm pretty sure this is 15 grams. Ooh, there was water in there and it bubbled. Mm. Um, okay. And now we're going to go back to that black soap. Okay, which is here. Uh, yeah, there it is. So we need 30 grams of this. So it's a kind of, I'm not going to lie, friends, it's an unappealing color. It's not the black. black soap. Yeah. I think the clue's in the name. Yeah, it's not black, it's like brown. Yes, it is, ish. isn't it? Yeah. Um, but then people get themselves covered in mud, don't they? There's a health yeah. thing. So yeah. let's go down that route. Yeah, it's it just, you know, it won't look super pretty, but that's fine. So there so it is. Super pretty is not going to happen. No. So the next thing that we need is uh, 500 mils of water. So okay. Yeah. So that's all that is. Um, so here we are. Uh, I went a little over, but that's fine. Um, I'm going to put some tea tree in here as well. Again, six. Well, um, if it doesn't fit in the thing, we'll use the what's yeah, left to yeah. do the first bit of cleaning. Okay. Okay, about six again. Um, and then... The black soap is like a viscous sort of thing, so let's yeah. uh, just stir it in so that it dissolves. I did that. Was that warm water or cold? That was just regular water. Yeah. The only one that needs warm water the is laundry. the one that we need to dissolve the Marseille soap. Okay. There we go. So it is an unappealing colour, but we're not eating it. Yeah. This is not your yeah. salad dressing. No. Hence all the really good labelling. Yeah, Very and important. I also have a box, and these all live in the bathroom, so uh, there's no chance of eating. That's a good idea. Any of this. So there we go. Let's have a look. Here they all are. Our little uh, family of products. Fantastic! How cool is that? So we can clean so, our windows. We can clean our laundry. We can clean our filthy things. So both of these are multi-purpose. I'm calling them kitchen and bathroom, but yeah. you use them interchangeably. So honestly, I don't know anything else. You might occasionally need a bit of bleach, but you can get uh, eco-friendly bleach now, yeah. so do that. Better for down the drain. Yeah. All of this stuff's better for down the drain. Th that's the whole point of this, for uh, no water pollution. And that's what the... And this is stuff that our modern... Um, for, uh, cleaning sewage things yeah. will be able to filter out. Yeah. It's not those harsh chemicals that get stuck in the water supply forever. These all get filtered out and then the water returns to your tap clean. And none and of the, the bottles end up in landfill. None of the bottles end up in landfill. So do you feel very good about yourself just now? I do. Good. But I have a couple of more things I'd like to say. Okay. The first is... This is uh, the Marseille soap. Yeah. I'm going to cut off a slab of this and put it in... Uh, dish soap by my sink to wash my dishes Good. with because no point in wasting it. It'll be ages before I finish this, at least a month, I think. Yeah. Um, Google this sort of stuff. There's loads of recipes online. If you're the type of person who loves a fabric softener, uh -huh. millions of recipes. Yeah. I don't tend to use them. No. Um, I also have, a, I got one of those little woolen balls that are the... Um, dryer balls so oh, okay. that you don't need to use dryer sheets i know this isn't so much of a thing in the u.s in the uk but in the u.s everyone has a dryer okay. so you don't have to use those crappy dryer sheets and they work a treat um so there's millions of options out there i'm just going to do a quick clean of this and then i will give you the recipe for the dishwasher tablets Kind of like splurted up. We'll find a way. See all of that like wine stain that we had there came off. All this coffee stuff. Oh, brilliant! And Absolutely it really brilliant. Nice it does the... smell good. Okay, and I'm using the loofah, which I'll then wash. Okay. Well, thank you. 
I think that's amazing. So we're going to start cleaning now, you and I, yeah? Yeah. And Brilliant. tidying. It's a mess in here. It is. Fast. We'll put it on. See you soon, YouTube friends. <laughs> Thanks, Rita. cleaner that we haven't listed. Elbow grease? Elbow grease, yeah. It's hard to advise people on where to buy that though yeah. because it's very localized, it is. specific to each uh, specific. town and even household. Yeah. But there is some elbow grease in here. Oh, this is great. 